right, go ahead, the third graders. This is Dottie, and she's going to tell you her Kamishibai story. Go the ahead. trial of stripes and his owner. <laughs> I love it. I love that. One day, Stripes and his owner were walking along the trail and saw a sign. Stripes ran up to see what it was. They were in Mexico. Mexico, I love the setting. When they reached town, Daddy, the owner, sat down to rest. They had a very long journey. <sighs> then when Daddy wasn't looking, Stripes ran to a house that Miss Rubel just put a fresh baked pumpkin pie out to cool off. <laughs> Stripes was curious. He sniffed the pie before he took a taste off it. His owner was just in time, but when Stripes turned to Daddy, his tail knocked over the pumpkin pie. Miss Rubel didn't know what happened, but she saw Stripes and Daddy walking along, and she um, used them. Assumed it was Stripes. Bugs Bunny saw Stripes sniffing the pie. He didn't trust Stripes. Mm, Bugs Bunny. Wow. Hold it up a little harder. Higher. Oh, perfect. Oh, I love it. I love your illustration. Miss Rubo was so disappointed so she called 911 she i mean the police came right away miss rubel pointed at stripes daddy saw the i mean daddy saw and ran up the police said is this your tiger i mean <laughs> is this tiger yours Daddy said, yes. Ah. <laughs> then Daddy Then Daddy said, what's the matter? Miss Rubel said, the tiger stole my pumpkin pie. Daddy said, no, he didn't. Stripes and Daddy was sent to a jury to <laughs> no if Miss Rubel was right or wrong. <laughs> ah, love it. That's awesome. Bugs Bunny was called to help out. The judge asked Miss Rubel, Were, where were you when the pie was stolen? Miss Rubel said, I was in my house. Miss hmm. Rubel pointed at stripes. The judge asked Bugs, Your turn. Bugs came to the stand. The judge asked, Where were you when the pie got stolen? Walking. Down the dirt path, I know he is guilty. There's no doubt about it. He stole it. Daddy and Stripes were called up to the stand. The judge asked, so did you steal the pie? Daddy said, no, he didn't. I, I mean, Stripes... Um, accidentally hit the judge with his tail. Oh my! Dot dot dot. <laughs> I love that dot dot dot. That is brilliant. That is awesome. The 
police took stripes away. Daddy started crying, but the judge called out, Stop, I'm curious about something. Come with me. <gasps> Love it. Oh, it's awesome. In the bushes, they all saw the pie smushed. <laughs> they felt so guilty. They all accused stripe, Stripes. The judge said, you silly tiger, you knocked over the pie with that big tail of yours. <laughs> Uh, up, up, up there. Okay, perfect. Yay! <laughs> Miss Rubble made a other pumpkin pie. I mean, another pumpkin pie. Even though Stripes knocked her favorite vase over. Oh, <laughs> I love it so much. That's fun. Donnie, that story was amazing. You, it's, it's, wrote by, it's by Daddy Beal, and it's wrote, written by, it's written, written on November 2020. Nice job. Donnie, I love how much description you used in your story. I love your illustrations. I love that you love tigers. So you took something you were passionate about and incorporated it in your story. And that's what authors do, don't they? And he's right? my pop. Yeah. Fantastic job, Dottie. I also love that you use those three dots. Do you know what those three dots are called? Yep. They have a special name. Do you remember? We talked about it in small group. Mystery. Mystery. It makes it mysterious, right? And those three dots have a special name. They're called an ellipse. Ellipse. Like, I really so. need to know. Yeah, you did such a good job, Dottie. I am so proud of you. You are working hard. Excellent. All right. Thank I you. I want to so be a writer when I grow so up. I can tell. You are going to be, like, world famous. That's awesome. 